Dear fat people, and I know that number is quite limited unless things have radically changed in London due to the huge amount of choleric, syphilitic, malnourished and just generally very poor people that seem to be everywhere like a bloody plague. I have a request unto you. My knighthood has not yet arrived, and in lieu of that, the closest thing I might manage to catapult me into the highest echelons of the social strata is having a gut full of gravy and brandy, fingers like sausages, and thighs the size of a baby Indian elephant's feet. Hazel man, cook me some sausages after we've cut through those vertigues. <clears throat> Fatness is surely the signage of wealth and an adequatious diet. I would very much be appreciative of you if you might accompany me to a fine eatery. As I have been campaigning for so long, I have neither a house nor kitchen in Britain. Somewhere, perhaps, where the main ingredient used is butter. It is my intention to live through my old age with such girth that my face maintains a constant sheen from sweat produced not just from standing, but from simply being. Also, I believe this to be a good strategy in minimizing my winter fuel overheads. Receiving fatties, do please return to me your directions for meeting with you. I should have leave in the late spring, and would most enjoy joining your exclusive club. Before I get back on my bandwagon, you should know of me that I am a Lieutenant Colonel, and my name is... Uh, anonymous, anonymous, anonymous Bilgewater. Now that we know each other, I'm sure we might get along like a peasant village on fire. Also, I don't eat vine leaves or rice or aubergine or any other Italian shit like that. Yours hungrily, Lieutenant Colonel Anonymous Bilgewater.